51. Calculate the number of moles and the mass of the solute in each of the following solutions. And then we have letter A. So in this case, we have to find out the number of moles and the mass of the solute that's contained in 2 liters of 18.5 molarity sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4. Oh, and they tell us that. Thank you. Concentrated H2SO4. It's concentrated because this number, the 18.5, is very high. Molarity values don't really go high at all. 18 is classified as like a really, really concentrated solution. Okay, so how are we going to find the moles? Well, they gave us a volume, right? They gave us the two liters, and they gave us a molarity. So what's the formula that we know between molarity, volume, and moles, right? There's one formula, but I'm going to show you a little triangle diagram that I made, and it is this guy. It doesn't have to be as pretty as mine, right? If you want to draw it on your own paper, all you would basically need is a triangle, a T in the middle, and then your units. Molarity has to be on this side. Moles is on top, and liters is on the bottom right. Now, in order to use this uh, triangle to get a formula, all that you're going to do is you're basically going to check the things off that you have, right? You have a liter, so check, and you have a molarity, check. So what can we solve for? Oh, we could solve for the moles, right? And that's what the question's asking for. Calculate the number of moles. So from here, I could make a relationship that says moles equal. Now, what does it equal? Well, hover over the unit that you want to solve for. In this case, it would be mole, right? So this, if I hover it over with my thumb, it's not going to be there. And the only thing that it is left is big M, molarity, and liters. Since they're on the same tier, right, they're both on the bottom, not one is not on top of the other, you would multiply them. If you have a relationship that's on the top or the bottom, it's division. So in this case, moles equals molarity times liters. We have the two values already, so let's go. Moles equals the molarity 18.5 times 2.00, right? You could keep the units in here, so you could say 18.5 m and liter, but just know what the unit you're getting out in the end. In this case, it's moles. So we have 18.5 times 2, rough, basically, right? That's 37. If we were doing sig figs, there's three sig figs, the least here, so it would be 37.0 moles of the solute, H2SO4. Okay, so that's the first part. The first part is done. We answered the question, how many moles? 37. Now the second part is, well, I need the mass, right? And remember, mass is another way of saying grams. The mass is in grams. So how do I go from a mole value to a gram value? Look down here on the, the tricks, guys, right? If I have a mole of some element or compound, I can find the grams of the same element or compound by going this way. All you have to do is take that mole value and multiply it by the molecular weight or the molar mass or the molecular mass or whatever you want to think of it as. It's basically the, the amount on the periodic table, right? PT, periodic table. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 37.0 moles of H2SO4, and we're just going to multiply it, so times the molecular weight. Now, they didn't tell us the molecular weight, but we've done tons of problems in which we could find a molecular weight, right? In this case, we're finding the molecular weight out for H2SO4. So let's see if we get the same number. I'm going to do the molecular weight on my end. You do it on your end. Let's see if we get roughly the same answer. Just make sure that you have to take into consideration, you know, you have two hydrogens and four oxygens and one sulfur. I'm going to get the exact answer, but if you want a round, that's fine with me. Let's see what we get. Okay, I get 98.076, and that's gram per mole. That's the molecular weight. So that number is coming down here when you multiply it by the moles. 
So 98.076 grams per mole. Once again, you don't need the units, but in this case, you see how you have moles here and moles here. That's why they cancel. And grams is the only unit left. So the answer has to be in grams. And that's what we said before. So 37.0 times that molecular weight, three sig figs, if we want to play the sig fig game. So I'm just going to round this up. I could either say that this is 3,630 grams of H2SO4, but this is the same thing as 3.63 times 10 to the third grams of H2SO4. And that's it. Here we go. So these are the both answers, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully this helped. If it did, like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more chem videos coming your way. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Keep studying hard. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.